हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन ऑपरेशंस ऑन सिग्नल्स इन दिस वीडियो विल कंसीडर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एक्सप्रेसिंग एक्स ऑफ टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ जी ऑफ टी विद हेल्प ऑफ अ न्यूमेरिकल वेर इन एक्स ऑफ टी लुक्स समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज द गिवन सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ टी एंड जी ऑफ टी इज दिस सिग्नल द टास्क इज आई हैव टू एक्सप्रेस एक्स ऑफ टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ जी ऑफ टी आर गेटिंग इट वट आई एम सेंग इन द सेंस से फॉर एग्जाम्पल लुक एट यर the highest amplitude of x of t is 4 and the amplitude of g of t is 1 so how do i get the amplitude 4 in the sense i have to add 4 g of t's it will not just be the g of t it will be time shifted and scaled versions of uh, g of t are you getting it how do i get the highest amplitude 4 i can add i have to add 4 of these g of t's so hence i have drawn four different graphs over here is that okay so 1 2 3 and 4 and i would call the first signal as g1 of t i have to write the expression for g of uh, g1 of t that will say it and i will write the second uh, graph as g2 of t similarly for the third i will write this as g3 of t and for the fourth signal i would call this as g4 of t so these are the four signals we are interested in and i have to add uh, these signals so that i can get x of t are you understanding uh, what i am saying therefore uh, to get the expression for g1 of t what i'll write is g1 of t is going to be g of at minus b what do you mean by this g of at minus b it is time shifted and scaled version of g of t before i actually consider the expression for this let me draw the graph uh, once we understand this then we can write the expression very easily uh, first for the interval 0 to 1 what is the amplitude amplitude of x of t is 4 therefore i have to add four uh, of these signals in the sense g1 of t g2 of t g3 of t g4 of t all must be 1 for the range 0 to 1 are you getting what i am saying so here i will draw this signal i will sketch this signal as uh, with the amplitude 1 are you understanding this that is 1 plus with the second signal wherein the amplitude of this signal is also going to be 1 i have got 1 plus 1 as 2 but i need 4 therefore i have to add this signal as well so i'll draw as i'll sketch a signal with amplitude 1 i got 3 now uh, but i need 4 therefore i will add uh, this signal as well so now 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 i would get 4 are you are you are understanding what i am saying now next thing is for the interval 1 to 2 i need the amplitude as 3 are you getting it 3 in the sense i have to add 3 g of t i don't need the fourth signal is that okay therefore for the interval 1 to 2 i'll continue this with amplitude uh, 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 still it is 1 this is 1 1 to 2 i will make this also 1 therefore 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 but what i need i need 3 i need this signal as well wherein the amplitude of this is also going to be 1 again so i got 3 and uh, what about the fourth one i i don't need this signal anymore so i will uh, stop this signal at this point of time at 1 the signal ends is that okay moving further next for the range 2 to 3 look here i need the amplitude 2 that means i have to add uh, two more signals so i'll consider uh, this signal i'll continue this with an amplitude 1 for the range 2 to 3 for the range 2 to 3 i said i need the amplitude as 2 uh, yes i got two signals and the third signal i don't need it so just stop it at this point of time wherever it was existing just stop it at that point of time right for the uh, range 3 to 4 for the range 3 to 4 the amplitude is 1 i need uh, only one signal i'll take the first signal i'll extend it till fourth is that okay and uh, second signal i don't need it anymore i'll stop it at the position 3 only 
so these are the signals g1 of t g2 of t g3 of t and g4 of t if i add all these four signals together i am going to get x of t is that okay so graphically we have sketched those signals very correctly the next point is i have to get the expression for this to get the expression g1 of t is equal to i have written g of a d minus b is that okay so now i have to find a a is nothing but the scaling factor and i have to find b as well b is time shifting uh, factor so how do i uh, how do i find a the scaling factor to find a i can find it very easily i'll have to consider the width of the original signal g of t the width of this signal what is the width of this signal it exists from minus 1 to 1 the width must be 2 if i want to find width i'll consider 1 minus of minus 1 so i'll get it as 2 width of the original signal as 2 and width of the required signal so what is the width of the required signal it is going to be 0 to 4 hence width must be 4 so 2 by 4 is nothing but a is equal to 1 by 2 i got a as 1 by 2 is that okay similarly i need to find the time shifting factor that is b so how do i find the time shifting factor to find that i need to equate the arguments of uh, the required signal with the argument of original signal at their midpoints are you understanding what i'm saying i need to equate the arguments of the required signal and the argument of original signal at their midpoints the required signal the arguments are uh, at minus b so i'll equate at minus b at the midpoint what is the midpoint signal exists from 0 to 4 0 1 2 3 4 the midpoint must be 2 so this will be the midpoint so therefore i need to equate this at the midpoint that is t equal to 2 with what with the original signal that is t so what is uh, the midpoint of the original signal if you look uh, it is very much uh, clear the midpoint is uh, zero so solve these things and i'm going to get the answer for b as well so a was 1 by 2 i got earlier t it is 2 now minus b is equal to 0 so this what i'm going to get 2 and 2 cancel i'm going to get 1 minus b is equal to 0 therefore b is equal to 1 so this is the expression for uh, b so once i got once i have found what is a and what is b i can write the expression for g1 of t as g of at minus b what is that g of i'll just make use of different color for the better understanding i'll get g of at is 1 by 2 t minus b b is 1 the first signal is g of 1 by 2 t minus 1 are you understanding if you have understood uh, you can uh, proceed further and try to write the expression for g2 of t g3 of t and g4 of t on your own if you feel you haven't understood or if you want to uh, get the more clarification on this so i'll i'll help you out in uh, getting the expression for g2 of t as well so again i'll write g2 of t is equal to it is the time shifted and scaled version of the signal g of t which is g of at minus b so now uh, what is a a is the width of the original signal which is uh, 2 divided by the width of the required signal what is the required signal width it is 3 therefore a is equal to 2 by 3 i got it straight away similarly to find uh, uh, the time shifting factor that is b i need to equate the arguments that is at minus b at the midpoint what is the midpoint here just check here uh, 0 to 3 is the signal and its midpoint is going to be 1.5 is that is that correct it is the midpoint is 1.5 rather than uh, this point what i'm saying instead of writing 1.5 i'll write it as 3 by 2 so that calculation becomes easier which is equal to the midpoint of the original signal which is at 0 uh, so solve these things a is uh, 2 by 3 and uh, three, uh, t is i got it as uh, 3 by 2 minus b is equal to 0 solve this thing it is 1 minus b again which is equal to 0 therefore uh, b i get it as 1 is that okay so just put uh, put these things in the expression so that i'll get the expression for g of at minus b is uh, 2 by 3 t b is 1 Uh, therefore i'll get ultimately g of 2 by 3t minus 1 are you following what i'm saying now i hope you people have understood uh, continuing in the similar way i can write the expression for 
g3 of t g3 of t is going to be again g of a t minus b so first equate uh, try to get the expression for a a is equal to width of the original signal which is 2 and the required signal is going to be width of the required signal is going to be 2 2 by 2 i'll get uh, a is equal to 1 very simple next thing is uh, uh, equate the arguments of uh, required signal with the original signal at their midpoints a t minus b at t equal to what is the midpoint it is 1 get equated with t at the midpoint t equal to 0 therefore uh, a was 1 b is also 1 uh, t is also 1 1 into 1 it is 1 minus b is equal to 0 therefore ultimately i would get b is equal to 1 so in this case a is also 1 b is also 1 therefore i can get the expression for g of a t minus b as g of 1 into t minus 1 so it is simply g of t minus 1 very simple are you getting what i'm saying and uh, similarly i can get the expression for the last signal that is uh, g4 of t which is equal to g of a t minus b so how do i find the uh, value for a width of the original signal that is 2 and width of the required signal it is 1 therefore a is equal to 2 is that okay similarly to get the time shifting factor that is b i need to equate the arguments that is a t minus b at the midpoint so what is the midpoint the signal exists from 0 to 1 midpoint must be this that is uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 i'll write it as a 1 by 2 which is equal to t at the midpoint it is 0 original signal existed from minus 1 to 1 hence the midpoint i take it as 0 I can solve these things uh, to get the expression for uh, uh, to get the value for b so a is uh, 2 t is uh, 1 by 2 minus 1 is equal to 0 uh, sorry i have to write b over here so 2 and 2 would cancel again i'm going to get uh, 1 minus b is equal to 0 therefore b is equal to 1 i'm going to get ultimately so what is the signal it is going to be g of a t minus b with g of uh, a a is 2 t minus 1 is that okay so this is the expression for uh, g4 of t so finally what i have to do is uh, the question was express x of t in terms of g of t so consider all those four signals sum it up you are going to get the answer the first signal is g of 1 by 2 t minus 1 so therefore i'll write g of 1 by 2 t minus 1 plus the second signal i guess it is g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 yes i'm correct so i'll write it as a g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 and the third signal is very much there onto the screen it is g of t minus 1 and the last signal the fourth signal is also going to be g of 2 t minus 1 so ultimately i would write the expression for x of t something like this so now look at uh, x of t everything has been expressed in terms of g of t if i add all these four signals i'm going to get the required signal x of t. so i express x of t now in terms of g of t i hope i'm very much clear here if there are any doubts please let me know them in the comment section and i will definitely answer those and uh, 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 once you understand this concept very easily, you can solve any numericals on expressing the of t in g of t. In NG classes, itself, I have solved uh, more than uh, uh, 3 or 4 numericals. With that, that is the end of uh, this numerical. And uh, we'll consider a few more uh, numericals in the upcoming videos. And uh, please do subscribe to our channel NG classes for uh, more interesting videos on signals and systems. Uh, thank you everyone for watching.